Hello, Mike Check. Check one, two. The Nasty Show, Ski TV, Ski 24 7. Skiing all over the fucking place. Right now, I got uh, a fucking legend <laughs> with me, man. <laughs> Mr. Freeway Rick Ross in yeah. the fucking building. Yeah, live and in effect. You were, you were uh, 70s and 80s, you was doing your thing big, right? From what yeah, I'm understood. 80s, really. You know, 70s, I was just getting started at the end of the 70s. Like, 79 is when I first got started. Uh, you know, I was a youngster, 19 years old, and uh, cocaine was just starting to really uh, become a, a thing in, in the United States. Yeah. And uh, I got in just, just I don't know, man, just at the right time, time. I guess, or the wrong time in, 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 you know, in some circles. But anyway, uh, I got in and, and I did what I did, man. And, but uh, before that, before that, it's... Uh you were actually a professional athlete, right? You were a tennis player. I wasn't a professional athlete. I wouldn't say that. Uh, I wanted to be a professional athlete. I played tennis. Uh, you know, I worked out with a, some of the top black pros. Uh, uh, had the privilege of hitting with a couple of top pros. Okay. Um, That's what's up. Dude, to be, to be really good at a sport, you got to be dedicated. So, I mean, fuck. If you ain't getting paid, but you give your heart and soul to it, I, I consider you a pro. Here I am bumping around fucking to... Uh, uh, a gentleman called William Roberts. And uh, under my understanding, this gentleman um, stole your fucking name, okay? Yeah, Who steals a, anybody's name, dude? He's okay? a real pig. I mean, he's a real yeah, pig. Because he You're thought kidding. you weren't going to get out of jail, hoping, prison? Hoping I wouldn't get out of jail. I mean, But let me, tell you, let me tell you how shitty this guy is. Elaborate on that for Here me. Here I am in prison. So when I find out he's using my name, I call a few people, you know what I'm saying? And uh, finally I get him on the phone. So I get the guy on the phone and we talking and he's like, yeah, man, I owe you, I owe you, OG, you know what I'm saying, OG, you. This is William talking. Yeah, this is him talking. Here I am in prison. Right. The guy know I've been in prison at that time, maybe like nine years. You think he said, man, what's your booking number, man? I'm going to send you $100 on your books. I'm going to send you $100 and put some pictures on your book. No, nah, what he did, he goes out to a video shoot. He finds out one of the little video vixens. Uh, uh, by the name of Esther Baxter had been writing me and she was in a video that he was in with uh, what's the producer name Scott Starks so they was all in Houston at a video shoot and uh, he tell her oh you writing that dude what you doing writing that dude you can have anybody you want but he just didn't know that when you're a real motherfucker they all want the real you know what I'm saying they don't want the fake and when they find out that it's fake they don't want it no more so uh, uh, he, he just a real pig, man, and 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 you know, I mean, he he puts a bit of taste in my mouth. Did he fucking call you in jail? Say, no, 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 say, no, no. He, I contacted him. He didn't. He didn't contact me. Oh, so who told you then? Who actually told you? Yo, there's a dude out there. A dude came. One of my little dudes came to my cell with a magazine uh, article about no him. No way. And uh, that's how I found out. <clears throat> and then I, I surprised him. With that first phone call, because he didn't know he didn't know that I was going to be on that line. Okay. He was going to do an interview. So did you investigate this cat and oh, find absolutely. out who and exactly he was? Absolutely. And what did you find out? I found out that he was a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. I love that one. That would fucking kill me. I found me. out that he not only was a cop, but he was the best one in there. Then I also uh, 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 talked to guys that was in prison while he was a guard. Woo, it's getting hot up in this motherfucker. They said he liked doing strip searches. We had the men to bend over and touch their toes and spread their cheeks. Man, you know I uh, I always used to look up to Hulk Hogan as a kid. Now I look up to Freeway Rick Ross as a man. Yeah, <laughs> and that's dope. That's, that's what's dope. up, dog. That's what's up, yo. So it's been a pleasure, man, having you, man. Real talk. It's been good. You, you, man, it's been crazy. Me. Hey, it's been crazy. I've you educated me, man. But crazy it's been good. good, crazy good. You know what I'm saying? I got to give a shout out, man. It's just been it's just been off the chains, different. And you know, sometimes you need something different in your life.